How you doing? Uh, my name is John, I'm with the Relentless team and today I'm going to show you how to change your program settings, basically to set your training program up just the way you want it. And I'm going to open my trusty little app here. <clears throat> this is the main page of the app. Uh, for us today we're going to click on you and then we're going to click on functional fitness which is my current program. This is where you set up your program basically. At the top here you have program priority. Some programs has this, for instance functional fitness has that, it's weightlifting or gymnastic or none. I choose none because I want to be super duper all around. Next one is conditioning versus strength ratio. It just means you either let the app decide how much conditioning versus the strength you're doing or you can set it up for yourself if you don't want to eliminate weaknesses there. For instance I can go in here and I want to set I want more conditioning or more strength or equal. I'm basically just going to leave it at auto. That's usually what I do because the app is pretty good at detecting exactly what I should do. Next thing is hypertrophy versus max strength. It's basically if you want big muscles, if you want to get stronger or if you want to get a lot stronger. Session parts, not everybody wants to do the warm up or the activation or the pump finisher or the conditioning or whatever. Some parts are always in for some programs like strength and skill for functional fitness is always in there. But today let's say I don't want to do the finisher so I take that away. Then it's uh, block and prioritize movement categories. This is actually a very powerful part of the, the app where you can set how much priority the app should lay on certain movement patterns or, or even exercises. For instance, in weightlifting here, I have turned off squat snatch and squat clean because I'm old. Let's go into a handstand, which I've set the priority to low. I can go in there and change that all the way up to max if I want to, if I want the app to prioritize that almost no matter what. So if I have this on max, I will get handstand very frequently. I can also go into, let's say, overhead squat and choose a custom priority for that specific movement uh, pattern. I can go maximum on overhead squat. That is a any any overhead squat with with the weight above your head basically. But no, today I want it to be moderate. Below this there is the block block specific exercises. I for instance don't have an incline bench. I can't incline my bench. I could if I put weights under it, but I won't. You know, it's pretty easy to search for the exercise you want to block and just type it in and hit block and it goes away. At the bottom, most important thing is variation. You can simply set how much variation you want in your training overall. So if you're a true crossfitter, hopper style, you can go maximum variation and it will always be different kind of movements being thrown at you for maximum variety. Or you could be the opposite, low variation and work on everything very methodically and stick to a fewer set of movements. In a similar vein, you can also choose how much weakness optimization you want. For instance, if you have a glaring weakness in, let's say, deadlift, that will come up a lot, maybe too often for your tastes. So then you can set it to some optimization and it will come a little less, even though the app will still prioritize that weakness. Once you're done with your settings, you can simply just back out and you're back to your main program. If you have a schedule and you made a bunch of changes, it will ask you if you want to update your schedule, basically, because you might need some pretty substantial changes. Other than that, you just hit start and enter your readiness. I am pretty ready, I feel horrible because I'm old and I slept pretty well, let's go.